welcome back or welcome if you are new here. My name is Julie and today's video I'm giving you some tips and tricks on how to last for a long car ride. Now we are going on a road trip. It's about a 13, sometimes it's taken us 15 hours of a road trip and so with that being said, we have three kids. So we need to keep them very busy, very occupied and happy for the trip. That way it goes by smoothly and um, hopefully there won't be any big mishaps. So I wanna share with you some tips, tricks that we've learned throughout the years on different road trips we've taken. As you guys know, we love to go camping. So we do take road trips and things like that, but this is the furthest road trip we've taken with all three kids. Grant has only been on like maybe a five hour road trip tops. So this is definitely longer than he is used to. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna kind of give you a little bit of a car tour on how we have some stuff set up, how um, we got it all cleaned up. I like to start a road trip with a clean car. I know it gets messy throughout the ride, but it just feels better when you know where things are and things have a place. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a car tour and how we have things set up, some things that I have packed to help the trip go smoothly, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off, we need something to throw the garbage away, and uh, it does tend to pile up. So I saw this trick on Pinterest. We will see if it works. Um, plastic bags are hard to come by, but I know my mother-in-law has a bunch um, that she ordered from like Sam's Club or something. So I'm gonna grab some extras of those because these are perfect for trash bags, but I found a way to kind of contain the trash a little bit easier and we're gonna try it out. And these are with Rubbermaid bins. You can get them right at Walmart. Let me grab them and I'll show you what I mean. So these are the bins. We technically usually use them for cereal, but we're gonna use them for trash bins. So let's try this out, see if it works, if it is a fail or if it is a new hack that we have learned. I'm excited to see. Let's do it. So first off, like with any road trip, we like to start off with a clean and organized car. So here are our floor mats, as clean as we can get them because we do live in upstate New York. My husband hosed them off and everything like that, but you know, we got them as clean as we could. Wiped all of the seats down. Everything is nice and clean and wiped down and fresh. And I'll show you what I have in my compartments up here and then we will work our way towards the back of the car. Okay, so we first have this little secret compartment is what I like to call it. And that has a change dispenser. I always have this in my car. It's just filled with a bunch of change that we have to go through a toll or anything like that. We have something to put our change in. Um, let's see, let's put that back. Next, we have my guardian angel that my grandma actually made. I always keep this in the car as well. And then I've got my glasses holder, which has my prescripted sunglasses in there. So that is what we have in that. And then I also have some glasses cleaner and some iPhone like headphones in case my Bluetooth ones die or something like that. So that is what is in there. Okay, and then next I have some hand cream. Guys, my hands get so, so dry. I love to have hand cream. Um, got a few chapsticks. Me and the kids get super chapped lips. So the kids' DVD players came with two remotes, and these actually reach from up here, so that's really nice. So I let Weston have one in the back for him and Paisley to use, and then I also have one if they need help or something like that. Of course, have some hand sanitizer, and then, of course, it's not going to fit perfectly, and then some gum. So all the things that we for sure will need. Next up, I just showed you the DVDs, and I'm going to put them in this compartment here. 
So I'll pop this open. Now this looks a little messy, but there's really no way to organize it any better. I just have my glasses case and I'll put my real like glasses in there to have for the ride. Um, if I'm looking at my phone for a long period of time, I like to have my glasses. Some CDs. We have Ryan's business cards. He just always keeps this thing in here. Um, a notepad, some baby wipes, floss, a brush, some more hand sanitizer, extra car chargers, face masks. Never know if you're going to need them anymore. Um, I have my camera mount and um, I think that's about it. There's some straws and like forks and stuff. But other than that, that's kind of what's in here. And then we of course have some pens and a flashlight in case of an emergency. You just never know. So oopsies. So we're going to put the movies right here. I think they'll fit perfectly. Look at that. All right, now let's move towards the back of the car. Little side note, we are going to the beach. So I, of course, have my Caribbean Culotta uh, scents in here. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I love this one. Okay, so now we are in the middle. Um, my car does have three rows. So I just set the garbage cans here. I gotta find the perfect place for them. I'm not quite sure yet. But we do have this like car chair organizer thing has some disposable face masks for the kids and then i have a bunch of crayon and these are really nice they're the mess free color wonder um coloring pages for grant it comes with markers and they only color on the pages so we have two packages of those crayon but or crayons and just some other things and then down here i do this all the time i always have a bin down here because we live like 45 minutes away from the nearest store so we always like to have some activities in the car to keep the kids busy so we've got some poppets um and then under here i have a container with some diapers and wipes um these are really nice i have the paintbrush up in this can up here it's right here you just fill it with water uh but you're able to paint these little notepads and uh they dry when the water dries so very mess free um and then we've got some books i got a little notepad for him a book few other books uh, because grandma will be sitting in the back seat with him so she can read him books if he gets bored and then of course we have a bin full of trucks you know Grant loves his trucks, so this will keep him nice and busy okay so looking on this side I did pack grandma package of wipes just in case she needs them for the kids or something like that we have a set of DVD players. We're just gonna put one up for Grant over here because we bought a brand new set for the kids in the back. So that way Grant will have his own DVD player. And then if I sit here, there is this nice big container and it is filled to the brim with snacks. We've got chips, we've got fruit snacks, we've got Slim Jims, Ritz Bits, um, trail mixes. I think I shared this in a recent video, the pack with me. So if you haven't checked that out, feel free to check it out. But it's just filled with all sorts of snacks for the kids. Um, that way they don't get hungry. And if they do, they are all set. Okay, so for the middle seat, I did put this garbage can right here just on top of the snacks. It'll be fine. We could always set it on the seat in the middle there or next to Grant's car seat and just move it when we put the seat down or something like that. But I just think it'll be nice and convenient. Now let's put this seat down. And this goes down. It's kind of crazy. It's fast. So I'm going to try to hold it. Okay. So that fits down perfectly. And let me show you what's in the back. <laughs> so in the back seat, I have Weston's bag. And I'm actually going to carry this inside to show you what's in it. But then each kid has a lunch pail next to their seat. And that is just filled with the same snacks that I showed you up front. It's just a little bit easier for them to grab. And that way they don't have to ask grandma every five minutes uh, what kind of snacks they can have they have one of each thing in the bag and then between their seat they have a big crayon box that's filled with markers and crayons and stuff like that for their coloring books and then they have this little bin that has their headphones and Weston has a pair of sunglasses I'll throw Paisley sunglasses in there as well so that is everything other than the book bags I'm gonna bring Weston's book bag inside to show you what's in their book All right, bag so we are packing these book bags like I mentioned I'm going to empty them out and show you what we have in them for each kiddo um grant will have obviously his diaper bag so we don't need that but this is for paisley and weston all right so instead of taking everything out i'm just going to kind of show you we have two new books now i did buy them new books so that way they're not like sick of old books do you know what i mean i know that kids after they look at a book one or two times they're like tired of it so i got them two brand new books uh each 
And then I got Paisley one of these Color Wonder Mess Free by Crayola. It's the Princesses. Um, and it comes with the markers. And then she's good with crayons. I did buy like the twisty crayons and I'll show you them in the car. Um, so I got her some coloring books, all different kinds of coloring books uh, to keep her busy. And then back there is an extra couple outfits, just some leggings and t-shirts. That way if she needs an extra outfit, if she has a mess or makes a mess from eating or whatever, she has some extras there. So that is what is in her book bag. So in Weston's, we've got um, an extra couple outfits in the back, like just like Paisley's. And then I bought him this book. It's the Cardboard Kingdom. He's really into like comic books. And I got this, um, I think it was at Christmas Tree Shops. And then also grabbed him. This is a new book that he just got. Let me try to pull it out. He loves books. <laughs> uh, this is the Jokes for Minecrafters. It's a bunch of different like Minecraft jokes. Um, and then we've got Diary of a Wimpy Kid. He's never read this one, so we pulled that. And then he's just got a few other ones, like these Easy Read Minecraft. And then we'll get into some coloring books. He's got a few different coloring books. He doesn't love to color, but um, this one's a little more fun. It has like activities and stuff for him to do. And then he also has his, of course, his Minecraft sticker book. So I figured that would keep him busy as well. So that's what's in Weston's bag. Now I put them all in book bags. That way they didn't just have like 15,000 um, coloring books floating around the car. I see that becoming a huge <laughs> mess. So I figured this would be nice and easy to keep it all contained. All right, guys. Now I'm going to try to figure out where the best place to keep these bags would be um i'm thinking maybe it's her paisley's book bag to put it next to her maybe she'll be able to grab it easier i don't know i guess that's fine that, that'll be fine so up close i wanted to show you what crayons i was talking about so i have this here this crayon box for them and then in the crayon box it has these i thought these would be safer for them it's the crayola twisty crayons i just think that they're probably less likely to break if they use these. There's no sharpening or anything like that needed. And then I think they can be trusted with markers. I'm gonna go over a talk with them, especially Paisley, and make sure the markers are only going on the um, coloring books and stuff. And then they each have a little notepad. So they should definitely have enough to keep them busy. I don't think that we'll have any problems with that. They've each got their um, sunglasses or no, headphones, I've gotta go grab Paisley's sunglasses and then I think they are good to go. Uh, like I said, her book bag's here. I think that'll be easy enough for her to get to um, beside her car seat. And believe it or not, her car seat is washed. This is just stained. I washed all of their car seats to get them ready for the trip and this is as clean as hers got, which I mean, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> Now the only other thing I'm thinking of is where we're going to put Grant's diaper bag because we have to put the seat up when the kids get out. That's the only problem with having a um, car that doesn't have bucket seats. So I guess what we'll do is we'll just have to set it here and then move it when uh, kiddos need to get out of the car. My suitcase is all packed for South Carolina. It's all packed. Yeah, let's do it. You're so excited. All right, we've got it all in here. It fit perfectly. I did not put her pajamas in there because all the kids' pajamas are going in a duffel bag just to make my life easier. But it says all of her clothes, pants and shorts are in here. Shirts and dresses are in here. Yes, your, yes, your beach shoes. Okay, let's go ahead and get it zipped up. You want to zip it up? Okay, one item that I definitely won't be leaving behind is our... Magna Doodle board from Cheer Fun. They were kind enough to send me one of their boards to try out and talk about if we loved it. And let me tell you, my kids have loved them. I will definitely be ordering a couple more so they each have their own. They retail for $33.99, but I can give you guys a discount code. And they're easy for kids to write, draw, doodle anytime, anywhere, and they're super, super adorable. They have so many different animals to choose from. And let me tell you, the imagination is endless with what you can do with these, what you can draw. The kids love playing tic-tac-toe on them. They actually send two of the pens, so each kid can have their own pen in the back seat and be playing tic-tac-toe or whatever it may be. 
be sure to check out cheerfun.com and try out one of their LCD writing tablets just like we have. Like I said, there are unicorns, there are cats, there are dinosaurs, dogs, so many adorable different things to choose from. So go and check them out and let me know if you did. Let me know how your kids like them because our kids love them.